And welcome to another episode of Foolish Thoughts. This is Joseph Barone of A Fool for Learning. And our foolish thought for today is orientation training for sales generators at the Kensington Sales Group, Part 2. As I mentioned in my last episode, and periodically I like to invite someone to my podcast to discuss training and so. In this episode, I've invited Mike Dombo, president of the Kensington Sales Group, and we will continue in this episode to discuss how he trains his staff, and in particular, orientation training. The Kensington Sales Group, founded by Mike in 2016, supports companies that sell to the public sector through lead generation and market research. Mike has 25 plus years worth of sales experience in both startup and large companies selling to federal state, and local government agencies. And so once again, Mike, welcome. Morning, Jeff. Glad to be back. In our last episode, we discussed the orientation program, but we discussed it as far as the people that you hire who have no experience in this particular business. In this episode, I want to talk about bringing in new people, but people who have done this before for other organizations. And one of the things that we've discussed uh, before this episode is that people may have experience, but there are some issues when you sometimes bring them on board. So let's talk about the issues that you find when you bring someone who has done this before, but you bring them into your organization. Sure. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, uh, I think I've said this before, but uh, bad habits seem to be easy to form and hardest to break. Somebody who's had no experience doing it, we have a good opportunity to uh, really bring them into the fold and how we do things. But somebody who's done it before brings their own past experience to the table. In some cases, that's a good thing. In other cases, we need to you know have a little talk about quality and how we do things here. But uh, mainly, uh, we don't know what the process was prior mm-hmm. uh, to you know, mm-hmm. wh- whatever they were doing, be that real estate or software sales or, mm-hmm. or anything else. Uh, to us, the quality is key. So we're not just looking for anybody willing to set aside 30 minutes on their calendar mm-hmm. to talk. They have to really be qualified and vetted prospects mm-hmm. with a true interest. Mm-hmm. So that's one of the main challenges. And the, the other, I don't know if you want me to, jump ahead into it, but the other uh, really is once somebody's done this for a while, um, I don't want to say it goes to your head, but if you're good at it, you uh, kind of develop your own script. You, you, you know, get away from what works, and uh, that's, that's another challenge in and of its own. Let's talk about the script issue for a moment. What do you see when a person who has experience comes in and doesn't follow the script or the talking track or speaking track that you have designed with the with the client, what happens when they don't follow it? Yeah, it's a good point. We call it a talk track instead of a script because uh, it's hard to script this kind of work. You you know, run mm-hmm. into a, a different conversation mm-hmm. with each call. Uh, but what we'll see quite often is somebody with good experience comes in, makes an impact immediately. They're off and running, and things slowly start to, to fade. And usually that That could be pretty quickly in a a month or two. We sit down with them and uh, do a ride along, as I mentioned on the previous uh, uh, podcast we did. But uh, you'll find that they start to deviate from what works from that talk track uh, because you have developed your own style. You are good at it and you want to add your your own flair, which we encourage. But staying within the model of that talk track because it's the psychology of it that really works. It's We're not calling people trying to jam something on their calendar. We're really engaging them, and ultimately it's their decision whether or not they want to move forward. So that's that's how we uh, construct that talk strip, uh, uh, script, excuse me, and uh, basically you know have that play out for them. A, a good call ultimately won't be the person calling doing all the talking, it'll be the recipient of the call who's then asking questions and wanting to dig in further. Okay, so the biggest issues are that they're building bad habits, but the biggest of the bad habits seems to be not following the script that has been designed. Sorry, I keep using script. I, I that do I'm, too, yeah. I'm, it's, <laughs> I'm used to that. That's my, that's my, my, my thing. 
not following the script. Are there any other bad habits that, you know, a person who's done this before comes in and that you really have to work with them on, on changing? Yeah, I don't know if it's a habit, but uh, burnout, I think, is a major, major issue. Um, and, and what, what about burnout? Are they just tired of making calls? What, what's, I, I, I mean, they're hired to make calls, aren't they, and constantly make these calls? What, what, what type of burnout do they, what, what happens here? Yeah, I think, um, you know, if you say the same thing 5,000 times, you probably get a little burned out from doing it. Um, we do go back and rework our talk tracks to add a little bit uh, more content where necessary uh, to change things. But the ultimate, the basic part of what you're doing is the same. You're calling people mm -hmm. who weren't expecting you mm -hmm. uh, to call them and introducing them to a, a new uh, a potentially new uh, solution for a problem they might have. Uh, one of the benefits of working with Kensington Sales Group is we have lots of different clients. So if something seems to be getting stale or uh, just doesn't click for that person, we have the ability to move people around. Okay. So well, that, that's great. That's great. And do normally your, your, your lead generators stay with the same client for a year, two years, or do you kind of rotate them even before they get burned out? Yeah, for our long-term engagements, I like to have as many people on the team as possible, uh, knowledgeable and, and having worked okay. on each client. Uh, gives us bench strength and really allows us, more importantly, to pair people and their personality with a particular offering, okay. which I think uh, a lot of cases is uh, somewhat subjective. It's our opinion on who mm -hmm. we think will work well where, uh, but ultimately it's results. So, Mike, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you for coming on my podcast. I really enjoyed it. I've, I've learned a couple of things. But if someone wants to get a hold of you, how, how should they do it? What's the best way? Well, for someone running a company making calls, please feel free to give us a call. Our number is 202-997-8858. Once again, Mike, thank you so much for coming. I've really enjoyed having you. And if you like this episode, uh, take a moment to like, comment, or even subscribe to my Foolish Thoughts podcast. And to learn more about me, A Fool for Learning, and how I can assist you and your organization with an appropriate learning solution to meet your business needs, please visit my website at afoolforlearning.com. This is Joseph Barone, the CEO of A Fool for Learning, signing out. Remember, learn, perform, succeed.